What's up everyone, you're here with Gora from Pig Dogs and thank you for joining me here for your free picks for Wednesday, uh, April 3rd. Well guys, uh, this week is actually quite busy. There's no Champions League or Europa League or the Conference League, but we have all those midweek games in the EPL. Uh, we have games in the DFB Pokal, in Coppa Italia and such. Uh, and uh, that is keeping us quite busy over this, uh, this week. And then once again, uh, pretty soon the weekend will be uh there and we'll have a bunch of games on friday saturday sunday mls games in europe uh games in epl la liga bundesliga and such and i believe that next week we are getting the champions league back so of course stay tuned guys for all those free picks make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and of course feel free to leave a comment on any of these videos uh, the games that we had for Tuesday have just kicked off. Uh, there has been some goals in the EPL, but uh, it hasn't been even halftime yet, so we still have to wait for some some of those results. Uh, and uh, as far as Wednesday goes, we have uh, three games in the EPL. We have one game in the DFB Pokal, and we have one game in Coppa Italia between Fiorentina and Atalanta. So without further ado, everyone... Uh, let's get this show on the road with the EPL games that we have on the schedule. Arsenal is hosting Luton Town, and as we can see, Aus uh, Arsenal is a massive, massive favorite at home. They absolutely should be the favorites. They are fighting for the title. They uh, haven't lost any of their last uh, five games, while Luton Town hasn't beaten anyone in their last ten games, and they are fighting for survival in the EPL. Uh, on top of that, Luton Town has conceded 36 goals in 15 games on the road. They have scored 21, which is about 1.2 goals on average or so. Uh, but uh, that defense is pretty bad when, when they are playing on the road. And we know that Arsenal is playing their best football at home. They have scored 36 goals in 14 games, conceded only 13, and they have suffered only one loss at home so far this season. Now, we all know that Arsenal had a fairly boring game against Manchester City this past weekend, a game which ended in a little bit of a draw, and uh, both teams were playing rather to not lose than to win in that game, and uh, between the two of them, there was around a thousand passes or something like that, and only like four shots on target, maybe even less, so yeah, it was a fairly boring game, and you would expect that the two top teams in the EPL would be able to score a goal against each other, but... Uh, they simply were not interested in that. Now, when we look at the odds here, like I said, Arsenal is a big, big favorite, which means we have to look for some value somewhere, uh, take a bit of a risk to get a decent pick. And uh, I decided to take over 1.5 goals in the first half at minus 125. I think that Arsenal will try possibly to put this one to bed as soon as possible and focus on the game in the upcoming weekend. And uh, since they haven't scored a goal in the previous game, I expect them to be in uh, quite a great goal scoring form in this one. Brentford and Brighton is the next matchup that we have in the EPL. And this one should also be fairly interesting. Uh, Brentford hasn't won uh, any of their last seven games. Brighton is coming off of a loss to Liverpool 2-1 after having a lead in like after the first minute. Uh, and they actually played quite well, but uh, Liverpool just had a lot more offensive firepower and uh, it went their way. Uh, I think this is going to be a fairly open matchup and we haven't seen a nil-nil game between these two teams since 2015. Uh, we have seen a lot of both teams to score. We have seen a lot of overs as well. There were some unders, but I think that both teams will try to go for it here in this game, especially Brentford, who got a 1-1 draw against Manchester United this past week. And that was after they conceded a goal in the additional time of the second half. And just a minute later, they were able to equalize and get a 1-1 draw out of this game. Like I said, I think it's going to be a fairly open matchup between these two teams. And with that in mind, guys, I decided to go with shots on target. And that is over 9.5 shots on target at minus 111. Uh, if you decide to put this one to double, I would go with over 8.5 shots on target. That's a bit of a less of a price, but uh, it's a safer pick for a double. But uh, however, I think that we're going to see a lot of chances in this one. And with that, I think we're going to see some shots on target as well. Manchester City and Aston Villa is the last game of the day in the EPL on Wednesday and uh, City is also a fairly big favorite here uh, despite Aston Villa losing only one of their last six games and despite Aston Villa being in a pretty great form and uh, they actually have been scoring a decent amount of goals when playing on the road. Now unfortunately for Aston Villa 
Uh, Manchester City is scoring a lot at home. Over two goals on average. They are conceding less than a goal on average. And Aston Villa defensively uh, is conceding about a goal and a half on average when playing on the road. And uh, when playing on the road, they haven't won any of their last two games. So I do understand why City are the favorites here. They're still undefeated at home this season. Uh, and they haven't lost any of their last eight games when playing against Aston Villa at home. But... Uh, with the fact that Aston Villa is in a great form right now, uh, they are missing a few players. I see that Oli Watkins is listed as, as, as injured. Matty Cash as well. Uh, Kamara is also listed as, as injured. Uh, but uh, I think they still have enough uh, in their tank. And I still think they have enough firepower to maybe try and create something in this game. Yes, we could take City to win it over two and a half as such. But uh, that's not priced all that well. But if we take Aston Villa to get over three and a half shots to target at plus 135, I think we have a decent chance of, 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 of hitting that pick. Uh, like I said, they are in a pretty good form. They are solid when it comes to scoring on the road. And we all know that City is uh, not that great defensively as of late. They tend to make mistakes. They tend to allow their opponents to create some chances. Uh, I think that Aston Villa has... Uh, the quality to produce something in this game. So I'm going to take Aston Villa over 3.5 shots on target at plus 135. Now we are moving on to the DFB Pokal, guys. The second semi-final game where we have uh, Leverkusen hosting Fortuna Dusseldorf. Uh, as usual, Leverkusen is a heavy, heavy favorite in this one. Minus 600 right now. Uh, they are at home. It's a single leg matchup, and uh, given their current form, I definitely agree with the fact that the books are, have made them such a big favorites. Now, on top of that, uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf is the team from Bundesliga 2, who, granted, are in a great form. They haven't lost any of their last uh, uh, six or seven games, but Leverkusen hasn't lost any of their last 41 games. Now, that's an insanely long streak, guys. You gotta remember. They're playing in Bundesliga. They're playing in the DFB Pokal. They're playing in the Europa League. They haven't lost a single game since Xabi Alonso took over this team. Yes, we are to expect a bit of a shuffled lineup for them in this one. Now, I'm sure they will take this game seriously. It is a single leg game. They will definitely go for a title in this one. I think that they are hoping to win the treble this season, uh, which means Bundesliga, DFB Pokal, and the Europa League. And like I said, I think that they will take this game seriously. But uh, I believe that there will be a couple of changes uh, in the lineup. Now, on top of that, they are playing against Union Berlin this upcoming weekend. So uh, they will try to give a break to some of the players. That's why I expect a shuffled lineup. But then again, I think that they will get a win in this one. We have to go for some value. We have to take a bit of a risk here. And uh, I'm going to go with Leverkusen to win it over three and a half goals at plus 110. I think that as soon as we see one goal, everything's going to open up. Because the other team will have to chase and uh, that should give us enough chances to get at least four goals in this game. In the uh, Coppa Italia, guys, we have Fiorentina hosting Atalanta. And uh, this is actually a two-leg matchup in the semifinals of Coppa Italia. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm simply going to take both teams to score in this one. Uh, Atalanta actually kept a clean sheet against Napoli on the road, which was highly surprising to me. I can't believe Napoli hasn't scored a goal. Uh, but Fiorentino on the other side, as good as they are when it comes to scoring goals and when playing at home, uh, they are equally bad when it comes to conceding goals. They have conceded two goals against Milan at home this past weekend. They lost that game 2-1. Uh, they have conceded at least a goal in each of their last uh, four, five, six, seven, eight eight games in a row at home, and I think that they will concede it here as well because Atalanta is in a great form, and this is the only competition where they have a chance to win a trophy. So, uh, Fiorentina versus Atalanta, both teams to score at minus 154. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, these were your free picks for Wednesday. I hope you have a great day, guys. Good luck with all of your bets, and of course, stay tuned for more free picks coming up soon.